this is a manufactured criminal case. Ridiculous charges. What happened today was offensive to the Constitution. They've never articulated the crime here. The waking the sleeping giant. What the radical left Democrats are counting on is your silence and your submission. No one's going to stop us. No one's going to slow us down. And the only way for us to fight back successfully is to elect Donald Trump in November. When President Trump came out and said the real verdict will be on November 5th, he couldn't be more right. But don't get mad. Get motivated. We will fight for our Constitution. This is long from over. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, you ought to know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. For a favor. <laughs> All right, come on, let's do this. Hop on in, buckle in, and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. We are almost at 2,500 folks, and I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. Let's keep it going. All right, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, oh, man. I think Biden has finally got the memo and he's kind of envious also. He sees the poll numbers. He's losing black supporters and the enthusiasm is not there for him anymore. Look at that doubling of support for Donald Trump from 10% up to 21%. Boris, Brianna, if that held through the election, it would be the best performance for Republican presidential candidate among black voters in 64 years since Richard Nixon. So... He sees Trump in the Bronx. He sees Trump in New Jersey. All these folks are coming out. And he want to hold his own rally, too. So we know that Trump rallies are organized and, and they're scripted. And, you know, we all know that, right? So Mr. Biden has his own scripted rally in Philadelphia. And he rounds up all the black folks he could gather, right? So they go down here to the gymnasium. And about 200 or 300 folks showed up. <laughs> and so, Miss Harris here introduced Mr. Biden with a fiery speech about student loans. And let's take a listen. I, I have a unique position as vice president to spend a lot of time with our president. And on this subject... I remember sitting in the Oval Office with our President Joe Biden shortly after the United States Supreme Court struck down our initial plan to forgive billions of dollars in student loan debt. A different leader, a different kind of leader, would have thrown in the towel. Not Joe Biden. Not Joe Biden. Yeah, yeah. So there you go, guys. The Supreme Court says, Mr. Biden, you cannot forgive loans. It has to go to Congress. No. Congress says, Mr. President, you cannot do this. It has to go through us. We have the purse strings. Mr. Biden and Ms. Harris says, F you in your constitution. We're going to do it because I need the votes. There you go. Hey, I keep talking about Trump is a threat to democracy. Trump is a threat to democracy. And this, and this is, is extremely, extremely dangerous, dangerous to our, our democracy. democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our 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 democracy. Uh this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 We have an example of Mr. Biden says, the hell with your constitution, I'm going to do what I want to do. Right? Can we all agree to that? Can I get a witness? <laughs> yeah. Mr. Biden goes on with another fiery speech 
and he talks about race again. Oh, my goodness. Let's take a listen. My extreme is banned books. Did you ever think if anybody over 30 years old, you'd go through a period where banning books in America? They're trying to erase black history. We're going to write black history because it's American history. That's why I'm proud to have the most diverse administration in history. It taps into the full talents of our country. And it starts at the top with the vice president. On Memorial Day, I proudly stood with a black man. Again, the memo has been out. And remember Charlemagne the Fraud? This guy, in the beginning of the year, he was talking about that he might, you know, hold on to his vote or might not vote or he might even vote third party. They got to Charlemagne the Fraud once again. So all that stuff he was talking about early in the year, it's negated because he went to The View and the hands at The View Henpecked the hell out of him and made him submit in submission and says, yes, I'm going to vote for Biden. Let's take a listen. Parliament now is not the time, in my opinion, to sit this one out. Yeah, oh, I'm not, I, I didn't say that. I never said I was sitting so, it out. So that, what you going to do? I'm definitely voting in November. But what well, I like okay. to focus on is issues, not individuals. Like, you know, when but you why not endorse. Huh? Why not endorse Biden? Because if I'm sitting here telling my listeners that, you know, you have somebody out there who is a threat to democracy, you have somebody out there who said they want to, you know, suspend the Constitution to overthrow the results of an election. You saw this person, you know, try to lead an attempted coup of this country. And I'm telling people that this guy is a threat to democracy. Mm -hmm. There's only two candidates out there. So if I'm saying that about this individual, the choice is clear, right? Why do y'all need us to say this? If we don't feel comfortable saying it. No, no, it's not that we need you to say it. Others but I think, I think other folks need to hear is the fact that getting facts out through the media has been very, seems to be very difficult. I feel, I feel like I just spewed some facts. Yeah. I, yes, yeah. But, 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 but we need you to you do it on matter. your show. Man, stay on your square, sir. Say it with your chest. Look at his demeanor. Look at his body posture. He's like he's a beaten man over here. All these women has beaten him to submission and told him, you're going to vote for Biden or else. <laughs> and so if you say you're going to vote, then I'm not going to ask any more questions. Not only am I saying I'm going I'm to vote, I'm telling you who the threat to democracy is. <laughs> right. Well, we do. Listen, we do this every day. We know, we know who the threat to Absolutely. democracy is. And his name is Donald Trump. If you, yeah, yeah. To, if you want me to spell <laughs> that one out. <laughs> Come on. And one would think since there's only two, Hmm. <laughs> I mean, there's third party candidates, but you know. Oh yeah, there's I really, will there's only beat you behind. I'm just. Yep. You see, Miss Mister Whoopi over here even threatening him. If you vote third party, nigga, I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> they want him to go on his TV show and endorse Biden. He doesn't want to do it, but he kind of said that he's gonna vote for Biden because again, get scared him to death. There's a belief system that. Black folks, black men could have been freed from slavery years ago. The only reason why they wasn't freed was because of the black women. The black women made them stay. The black women was, will, will snitch on you if you try to escape. Yes. If you try to leave the plantation, it was the black woman was snitching on you, going to Massa saying, Bobby Joe is thinking of leaving the plantation and then they'll catch you and whip your ass. Fast forward to 2024, it's the same thing. You see people like Charlemagne the God, Stephen A. Smith, who's trying to leave the plantation and it's the women that's snatching them back and says, you got to vote this way or else. No, It's the same thing, 2024 same mentality. You cannot get off the plantation. What about us? Save us. Right? When black men will try to get the courage to leave the plantation, I'll be back for you, baby. No, no, no. The black women would not have none of it. They'll snitch on you. They'll reveal your plans. And you get caught, get whipped into submission, and you're right back on the plantation. So... We could have left the plantation a long time ago. We could have beat slavery a long time ago. It's because of the women, the black women in our family, our black mothers, who says, you're going to vote Democrat Party. 
because it's interest for them. It serves their, their purpose, not for the black men. Ever since we we're younger, we was raised with single mothers. They tell us how to vote. And look at Charlemagne God. Look at his posture. He's there. Look like a defeated man. They telling him, you're going to vote Biden. You're going to endorse Biden or else. And he just says, okay, I'll do it. Live on TV. What a man. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys. I'll see you again. And all you Democrats, get your ass off my lawn. Yeah.